This is Buy My Money, and welcome to my channel. I'm back! I didn't know you guys felt so strongly about Panda, but here I am, back to Panda Bear. Seems like you guys enjoy the Panda. I know some of you guys don't like the Avatar at all, but uh, I think uh, the Avatar is here to stay. I think, um, yeah. If I watch the video, I would like to connect to something, you know, even if it's an Avatar. I, I will feel more connected, so I want to connect with you guys, and so hence, 3D Avatar. Well, anyways, welcome to my channel, and in this video, we'll be going over the daily setups, and whew, the last video was a movie. <laughs> it was over an hour long, almost an hour half long, of just going through every single uh, setup bar by bar, and uh, yeah, that is draining. It's draining for me, but... I love to do it. I would love to do it for you guys uh, because I believe it's beneficial. So in this video, we'll be going over the daily setups of scalping the two-legged pullback using pure price action. And we are uh, trading the E-mini on the 2000 tick exclusively. And uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful. If you guys don't know what the two-legged pullback is, simply it is a pattern that looks like this. This is the two-legged pullback. We call this an First pullback, first entry, second pullback, second entry, and also we call this an A, B, C pattern, and second entry. We like to enter here in the second entry. So um, this is, we like to find this setup in key areas such as support resistance levels, uh, moving averages. Uh, for instance, if I were to zoom in here and uh, have this two-legged pullback, well, it's a little skewed, but I'll just draw it out here. Just look at this chart. We have a two-legged pullback at the 240 SMA, two-legged pullback here at you know 20 EMA. So I'll just draw one real quick here. Here's A B C pattern and second entry, and there's your scalp. And also A B C pattern, and then there's your scalp. Also an A B count that wrong. A B C pattern. And actually does reverse on you, but ends up giving you a scalp on the other way at the 240 SMA. Actually, it's more accurate if I do this here. A, B, C, because you kind of want to wait till it hits your key area. A, B, C, and you got your second entry right there. And so, um, I just showed you, you know, three examples of two-leg pullbacks and... Um, all of them giving a scalp or even more. Um, the two-legged pullback is everywhere in the charts. And every single day there will be, it, until trading ends, there will always be two-legged pullbacks. It has been there from the beginning of time. It's because it's part of our uh, psychology as human beings. You know, we buy, we sell. And when we have that dynamic, um, we will always have these two-legged pullbacks. We'll have a uh, strong uptrend, you know, and then reversal attempt and another reversal attempt. And so basically... Why this works so well is because institutions and traders are more confident entering into uh, the market when it makes two attempts at something. And so we call this a first pullback. Typically, typically the context looks like this. Oops. Context looks like this. Get rid of this guy. Context looks like this. Coming from like a, a downtrend. And uh, we are expecting after the second entry that the original trend will continue. And so uh, this one, the trend or the context usually looks like this. And so we have a downtrend and two-legged pullback, but it's not always like this, but oftentimes the context is like this. And so uh, the first entry, the traders will skip, and they want to see the reaction. Uh, they want to enter in a second attempt down, second reversal, expecting the original trend to continue. And so it's a setup that we like to look for uh, using... Uh, you know, price action and context. If you'd like to know more details about the setup, uh, the two-legged pullback, go ahead and look at the description below. And uh, there are two links there that you can look at to see uh, more details about the two-legged pullback. And for those who are watching this for, the, you know, this is like, I don't know how many videos I have on my channel, but those who've been following me for a long time, sorry that I have to make this review every time. It's for any new viewers who are not familiar with the two-legged pullback. I gotta do a brief overview, brief summary of what it is, so uh, they're just not completely lost when they watch this. 
So we like to look for that setup. Um, on my chart, I only have three indicators. I like to use price action, and so uh, my indicators are at a minimal, and so I have the 20 MA, which is the solid blue line. I have the 240 SMA, which is this dashed line, and I also have a indicator that automatically counts legs and identifies two legged pullbacks, uh, second entries with dark green and dark red numbers, as you can see here. And um, yeah, it also identifies traps and tells you the upcoming legs and uh, has a bunch of uh, things that are helpful for you know, two legged pullbacks, even has alerts, could be used for automated trading, uh, things like that. If you want to see it used in automated trading, you can check out. Um, the playlist um, on my channel about uh, breaking the e-mini and we're trying to break the e-mini every single day using automated trading. So if you want more information about the indicator, then you can check out the official website at www.twolegapullback.com and the link will be in the description below. All right, let's get to it so this doesn't become a movie. Uh, so we're going to begin here and if I go to the right, you'll see a uh, green line right here and this green line is 9:30, uh, the start of regular trading hours, and so um, this red line is uh, yesterday's close. So I'm going to just find the context right now, and the market starts right here. And so um, honestly, when I go through this chart, I just want to let you guys know, I I do trade personally, and so there might be some moments where I'm kind of familiar with the chart, but to be honest, I don't get to look at the chart all day. And so some areas and regions are brand new. And some are not, you have to be honest. Um, so um, my bias may come in because I know I'm familiar with some parts of the chart because I'm trading it also personally. But regardless of that, I'm going to go through this bar by bar and I'm going to give you the analysis of what I see right there and right then and probably the analysis that I had um, when I saw it live. And so I'm also going to, so you know, you can see everything, all the information I'm going to give you is with only. Um, prior information so i'm not going to be able to be biased in the forward-looking information so uh, you know i'll give you my honest uh, analysis uh, per uh, per setup so uh, we just have a downtrend obviously going and um to make a downtrend to make a descending channel uh for downtrends you connect two pivot highs that when connected intersects in other points and between those two pivot highs you connect the pivot low that when connected it makes no, it intersects no points between these two pivots. And so, um, you know, if I did it here, that wouldn't make sense because it breaks it here. If I put it uh, way over here, it doesn't make sense because if I put it backwards, these lines intersect or these bars intersect. And so the point I want is right here. You know, if I just, you know, make it like parallel like this, you guys can see uh, that uh, there's no other intersecting points. And so this is the bottom of our channel. And that's helpful for us to know that if the prices get near there, we can expect a possible reversal there, depending on the context. And so here we are. Uh, we are on descending channel. We're on a downtrend. And um, yeah, let's get into the open. So I don't want to go too far because I don't want to uh, reveal too much of the chart here so we can be unbiased as possible. Like I said, this green line is yesterday's um, the market open regular trading hours and so uh, keep going keep going and uh, what I like to do is I like to continue to go until I see second entry how do I know it's the second entry approaching well because the indicator will show me on the right side of this candle a second entry uh, with a dark red or dark green number so I'm keep going so I do see a dark green number here. I think I just might be a little too far it might be yep there it is so I see a dark green one uh, and this is just this is the market open right here at 930 If you saw this train Live would you go long here? And that's the point of this. It's also for you to Consider the context and before I tell you what I would do I want you to go ahead and look at the, the context to see if this is something you would want to do. Would you go long here? Now personally um, Let's see the context, right? We have this trend we just created or this channel and we are near the bottom of the channel we have been on a descending we've been on a downtrend also within this channel and so you have like this uh, set up here and breakdown fail breakdown breakdown fail breakdown come back in and possible another fail breakdown but who knows uh, but 
personally, I would re I would draw another line like this um, because this is not steep enough to keep up with this. I want to include some of this price action. So you could have this just in case, you know, so you can see it when it hits his head up here, which most likely it will sooner or later. But um, to me, it creates a little too much noise, so I will get rid of that. And I will have this set up. So for me, I would skip this trade because we're mighty close to uh, the um, this trend line here. And also, we're really close to the bottom of this channel. My expectation is that we are going to try to hit the bottom of this channel as a magnet. Uh, we've been basically grinding down at this point. And so uh, there's a mix of bears and bulls here. Not particularly strong bear trend right now. It's just grinding down. You see a mix of bull bars, bear bars, but also no pullbacks. No uh, genuine pullbacks. Only um, when a candle breaks a prior candle's high, we have a genuine pullback. And so, or technical pullback. And we don't see any. And so I will skip this trade. And I mark a uh, trace I will skip with a triangle. And when I skip a trade, it doesn't mean it won't make a point. It just means that with the context, I don't have enough information to make a trade off this. If I were to make a trade, if I were to go long here, and we're basically be going counter trend, I would need ample evidence that uh, we would we had to have some sort of reversal pattern. Double bottom, higher low, uh, something along those lines. Big bull bars in a row. You know, I just need something. Uh, at least, you know, to show me that we're we're going to be an uptrend. So right now, this would be a counter trend trade. Not interested. We'll skip it. And right now, it pops up a little bit, and you know, kind of expect it. You know, we're on a downtrend, and we you know that's what we expect. It could make a point still, and it actually does end up making a point. Not only that, it also breaks out. And so um, we're also under the 20 EMA still. So still not enough evidence for me in terms of a reversal. And the very next candle does this. So we'll keep going until we see a dark red or dark green number approaching. So we do see a dark green number and um, yeah, terrible signal bar, not interested. Um, it's not enough evidence yet for me to go counter trend here. Plus we just bounced off the 20 MA and failed breakout. So breakout from here, failed breakdown, readjusting the channel, right? Updating it with the new information. And I only do that if it breaks out and comes back in. So this channel is still valid here. Keep going and boom, it goes down and goes back up and we're still missing our point here. Um, not by much, but we're still missing our point. And it gives you your, ends up giving your point. And so these are two trades that could have made a point, but I still am glad I skipped them because they were risky trades. We are potentially seeing a wedge here near the bottom of this, but I would like it to be a little closer to this yellow line. Uh, I'm, I'm fully expecting it to hit this yellow line down here at the bottom of the channel. And so, okay keeps going down and it's almost to my target and we're gonna keep going until we see okay terrible signal bar but very good context we're at the bottom of the channel had a support we also have a wedge and we also have price action that doesn't necessarily show strong downtrend right uh, when you see this are you thinking that this is just purely bearish no you have a bunch of bull bars in here mixed in and so it's not extremely bearish in my sight and we are at a, a double support here but terrible signal bar, so we're gonna skip this trade, unfortunately, and possibly look for a higher high. Good thing we skipped it because it pops up and it comes back down. Or sorry, we're looking for a higher low. And so if it breaks above here, I might be very interested to go in because um, this is a hidden second entry. Um, uh, hidden second entry, yeah, pretty much a hidden second entry right here. Uh, I would be interested in going long here. And uh, it might bite me in the butt. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know the exact this exact uh, chart here right now. I don't. I didn't memorize the chart. So let's see what happens here. And boom! It does give you your scalp because you have this wedge also along with the bottom of this uh, channel uh, created from you know in the very beginning of the video. We created this channel way over here using that pivot, this pivot, right? this pivot, this pivot. And this pivot and now we are at the bottom of this channel again I don't want to show too much because now we want to review this chart here <clears throat> and so uh, because of this uh, hidden second entry I was interested and I was rewarded with a scalp and I was patient I didn't enter here I entered here and uh, I was rewarded for my patience right there 
And so, uh, waiting for a better signal bar and they hit the second entry. And there, you got your scalp. Two, um, two points of support, this wedge, three pushes down, and also uh, the bottom of this channel. Okay, let's continue. And we'll wait for the next second entry with a dark red or dark green number. And now we're going down here. So I think we're in downtrend, we're breaking down, and I don't know if we're going to fail or not. So terrible signal bar as well. And somewhat getting choppy at this point. So I'm not interested in this trade on so well. I'm not interested in going long until I see ample evidence that we're reversing here. And does give you a point. You're going to have to ask yourself this question. Why are bad signal bars giving you a point? Um, and I think uh, the answer to that is we might have possible now conversion to trading range. And that's what we should be thinking of a kind of broader trading range here. So keep going. And yep, so we're going to see probably resistance here. That's what I'm expecting. Keep going until we see a... Okay, so we do have a um, second entry here with terrible signal more. This, this second entry is a second entry long. And I would have to skip this thinking we probably we, we probably will try to come up here but if I saw this uh, during live I would skip this trade the signal bars is way too bad and sorry it was a second entry short ah I, I, for some reason I saw this and I thought it would be second entry long second entry short I'm a dumb dumb um, would I have entered second entry short there <sighs> up down let's rewind it real quick Sorry, this was a second entry short. I don't know why that was a second entry long. Would I enter short here? Now that it's a second entry short. Um, three overlapping bars now. Now that this is a good signal bar, I, I wouldn't just immediately dis disregard it. But now it's a good signal bar if it's a second entry short. It's a second entry short that you want to enter into. You do have a trading range here. Uh, I might be somewhat biased because I just saw the next um, next reversal. So you do have a you do have a training range. You actually don't know that's part of the training range. You can see a breakout here. It could be a failed breakout. Two strong uh, bull bars and a lower high. Uh, that's not a bad that's not a bad consideration to go short. To be honest, I, I personally I just think that we, you know. I want to see a test of this and want to see a double top before going short. Um, this is kind of random to take a short here, in my opinion. And we are on support here uh, with the bottom of this channel. We came down, came back up. The context, signal bar is very good. Uh, context could be better. Um, you, you could also consider we're going to retest at least the bottom of here before we go short. If I were to go short here, one tick below here mm. man let's see here we have i would probably want a retracement back to the bottom of this bar here if i could get it so down here pop it back up okay just for Let's see how this goes. I don't know, know the full uh, outcome of this trade here, but let's consider this a good trade. How would I manage this trade? Uh, I see that we're in a strong downtrend. I do see that we broke out and <sighs> made a two-legged pullback and reversed. I'm still thinking we're trying to hit this target here, but let's just say we went short here. Um, Yeah, let's, let's just go short. Uh, I will have my four point stop loss. Sorry, this is taking a while. I'm just thinking. I, unfortunately, I, I saw the next candle. I, I think it's messing me up. So, we do have a. If we were to enter here, I would like a retracement back to the bottom of this candle. And we'll have a four point stop loss here. The 3000s. So zeros, one, two, three, four. Our stop, four point stop loss would be right here. Let's see what happens. And it starts to reverse on you uh, before hitting 
are um, our profit target, which is one five uh, five ticks. It's continuing to go. Uh, we still have our stop loss to protect us, but when you see this bar, you're possibly wondering, um, maybe this is a good second entry to long, to go long in uh, because of how strong this is. But we do have this, so let's continue. Let this chart continue to develop, and we got stopped out. Um, in my opinion, I don't know if I was taking that this trade just because of the trading range. Plus, also, I was thinking to retest up here, which is that, which is exactly where we are at right now. Um, but let's just say we got hit with that, and I would have been very tricked, let's say, uh, to go here. Let's see if we can recover this loss if we were if we did enter here. So, retesting up here. Let's go into our next second entry, and we do have a second entry here. Uh, to like a pullback back to the top of this range i need a lower high and current uptrend we need to break this current uptrend right now so currently not interested it does go under it doesn't make a scalp yet but it does come down here and we want the we want a lower high which we didn't get but this end up scalp giving a scalp anyways but we want that lower high we adjust this come here um keep going so keep going, 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 going until we see another second entry here. Okay, so we are at the 240 SMA and we do see a second entry on this next candle and this is an inside bar. Uh, we are in a strong uptrend and we hit the top of the uptrend or top of the channel and I would say lower high. I'm waiting for a lower high to possibly enter here uh, because we're at resistance. So I'll skip this trade. Even though signal bar is very good, I will skip this trade here and wait for a lower high. Okay. Okay, lower high comes the next candle. Uh, unfortunately, it's on a terrible signal bar and uh, not enough room to uh, clear this um, this trend line down here. So I would have to skip this as well, unfortunately. Even though it's a lower high. I possibly could be looking for a two-legged pullback to go long though, right here. This would be a two-legged pullback to go long. You know, I could be looking for something like this to the 20 EMA. That would be my next setup that I would look for. And let's see if we can get it. Okay, so we're at the 20 EMA and let's see if we get a, we do get a two-legged pullback. I'll be very interested here. Micro double bottom. Two legged pullback to the 20 EMA, and that's my bread and butter right there. Strong uptrend. Boom, we get our scalp. And so, uh, to recover from this one loss here, we would need four good scalps today. And if we want to actually make some profit, uh, we probably need five good scalps. So, uh, currently we are two to one. Let's keep going here. Keep going, keep going until we see another. Okay, so would you go long here? Um, I I would not go long because this is choppy. Yeah, it just looks like this right now, and uh, no no reason to think that this was this would reverse on you uh, right now. Maybe with a higher low, uh, I would consider, but not this one. Plus, Doji hate Dojis. It gives you a point actually. Um, let's give you a perfect scalp here. Yeah, it gives you a perfect scalp at the moment and gives you a absolute scalp plus more. So now we have reversed here and maybe a higher low and uh, we lose our second entry higher low because the pivot broke the previous pivot high. So we say it's okay. We'll wait for the next one. We have a second entry short here. Terrible signal bar, must skip. Bye bye. Just completely disregarded, it's just no point. Plus trading range, right? We're at the bottom of the trading range as we can see from this swing down to this swing up, we basically hit, you know, this trading range. We're in this trading range right now uh, and we're at the bottom. So 
no reason to go short here at the moment. And as you can see, those who went short here are are sweating right now because they don't know what's going to happen. It went down, but came right back up, and it ends up giving them a scalp. Uh, regardless, so you do get your scalp there, but uh, not interested in that trade. No, not with this trading range plus terrible signal bar. Keep going. Okay, so we have a one here, dark green one, and this is at the bottom of the trading range. Um, yeah, sure. I'll be interested in this. Uh, now I'm thinking these are these bars are kind of overlapping. Looks a little dirty. Barely enough room to the 20 EMA. I would probably need a retracement of one tick here if I were to consider this. Better trade would be to wait for a higher low. Let's wait for the higher low. Let's wait for the higher low and good thing we wait for the higher low because that pops up comes back down and we are um, yeah good thing we skipped that but here we have a, another second entry long now we are underneath this uh, possible wedge here as you can see one two three one two three pushes down and uh, to me, this is looking very choppy, very hard to tell what's going to happen here. Signal bar is not the best either. But um, I would consider maybe H4 here. Uh, we do have a spike in channel essentially. I would wait for H4 setup. So because this is a lower low, I'm not interested. If it was a higher low, I'd be more interested. Does it give you your point? Uh, almost gives you your point and gives you a point now. So that was a wedge here, uh, the bottom of the training range. But... Uh, just would like a higher low rather than a lower low, which is what that gave us. And keep going until we see the next second entry here. Another second entry. Uh, cannot trade this. You do not know what's happening here. This is a trading range. Choppy. You do not know what's going to happen, so we skip this trade. Okay. And we have one here. Skip this trade. Terrible signal bar. Ooh, this is actually a two-legged like pullback. Actually, too late for it, but terrible signal bar. Signal bar is just terrible. And gives you your two-legged pullback, comes back up, and we are still in this trading range here. And I guess I'll start including these bars, uh, the, the bodies of these bars. And uh, yeah, we skip this, so we keep going until we hit our next second entry here. And wow, another second entry. And look at this trading range. Uh, this is why it's causing this. this. Is why we skipped it because we just do not know what's going to happen here. But now we have a dark green one. Uh, again, decent signal bar actually now, but I just feel like we're just in the training range. We're just in this training range here. Uh, too hard to break up. Uh, not enough room to the 20 MA here. Enough room to the bottom of this channel though, or this uh, training range. But Yeah, let me see if we have a... Okay. Uh, you could possibly go there. Possibly. I, I would like it if it made another double bottom here, but it made a lower bottom here, so... Or lower low here, so... Uh, sorry, it's taking me so long to think about this. So since, it's, since I'm hesitating, I will just skip it. And now we do have a two-legged pullback and not enough room to the bottom of this trading channel. And this is a trap though, if it were to reverse here. Good thing we didn't go along there because 20 EMA blocked it. And it ends up reversing with pretty strong, with, with, with somewhat conviction here. Uh, bar ending near its low. So we'll keep going until we hit next second entry. Okay, second entry. Um, Huh. So why are we making tails here? Because we have this trading range. It's acting as resistance. We just broke out. Uh, micro double top. ABC pattern. Just broke above the 20MA. Broke above the uh, the channel here as well. Uh, I am not interested in this actually. Some of you guys might be very interested in this, but 
I actually am not interested in this because I rather yeah I'm just not interested in this I have to have a better reason than that the reason why I'm not interested in this is because it just broke out and I'm just thinking this can cause a, a cost some support here it could bounce off here I just don't know if it's enough room back up here I'll get rid of this guy uh, so I will skip this see what happens and good thing I skipped it because we still haven't made a point comes back up kind of confused um, yeah so keep going till we hit our next till the pullback does give, end up giving you a point okay so we're still here hitting our heads bottom of this training range better signal bar but now that we bounce off here Could be possible reversal. Better signal bar here. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting trade. I'm not sure here. This is confusing to me. If I were to extend this trading range, yeah, yeah. I to come back into this trading range. Hmm. Good signal bar, trading range, enough room to the bottom trading range, downtrend. We did retest this. Context is not good enough for me here. Ah, that hurts. This really hurts, and I really think it can give you a point. But you know, just because there's enough room to the bottom of this trading range, it's tough. If I saw this in real time, I would be hesitant because. We just broke out and we retested this trend line. So we could have a possible reversal here. And I probably would look for a maybe a long setup at this point. But yeah, that's hard. I'll skip this trade. It does give you a point. Test the bottom of this trading range. And also this trend line now or from this channel this channel. Um yeah, man, I Yeah, that that that'll be hard to have skipped. Um, but because of that breakout, I just, I wasn't sure. I just was not sure. We're going to keep going until we see the next. Okay. Terrible signal bar. Um, most likely we'll skip this as well. Coming back into this trading range, probably going to test the top of the trading range. So I'm thinking. And reverses. Um. I might consider this trap here. The only problem is, is that we're at the top of this channel and actually we just broke out of the channel and a 240 SMA. That trap will be very tempting for me just because we broke out here, retested it two times, basically bottom here, and we have a major trend reversal possibility. I'm actually inter interested in this trap here. I'm interested in this trap. Let me just draw clearly why it's a trap here uh, for those who do not know what a trap is. A trap is essentially when a two-legged pullback fails to make a point. And so we have a two-legged pullback here. A, B, C, second entry. And this second entry fails to go five ticks, which is a scalper's profit. One tick for the stop entry, four ticks for the point. And um, because of this trap here uh, I might be interested in going long here you have traders here with stop loss right one tick above this candle and when that hit triggers um, typically it uh, bulls enter and also uh, shorts or bears uh, exit so I'm interested in this trap Let's see if we get the point okay still no point here in fact it goes down and uh, if I've, with a four point stop loss we would be my entry would be right here and one two three four stop loss would be here let's see if we get stopped out okay so we end up making our point um, and we're okay here so looking back at this it could just been aggressive trade um, I just felt like we probably yeah are reversing and I'm just banking on the reversal and it does give you your point, but uh, could be a dangerous 
I mean, obviously, it didn't work out immediately. And so that could be a dangerous spin, maybe because of 240 SMA, uh, essentially. And I just noticed I had this line here. Okay. Let's give it this line. So let's keep going until we see another uh, two-leg pullback. Okay, sorry, went too quick. Skip this terrible signal bar counter counter trend trade. Ends up giving your point anyways, but terrible trade to have entered if you did. Okay, uh, high or low? Uh, nah, still counter trend in my opinion. Unless we're hitting a double bottom somewhere, no double bottom. Not interested in this trade at all. Peaks above, breaks back down. But if you have four point stop loss, you're still okay. And you actually end up getting your point. So, but still very dangerous in my opinion. Nothing here yet. Waiting for a second entry. Here's a second entry. Short. Uh, just broke out. Uh, not interested. Strong bull bar. Definitely not interested in this. Gives you your point anyways. Okay. So we have a lower high now here. With a terrible signal bar. Lower high now. Hmm. I'm interested in this lower high. How do I know it's a lower high? Because we have a two here. This is a double top, either a double top or a lower high. But signal bar suspect, it is almost entering into a trading range-ish uh, consolidation as you can see here. Um, but with the strong downtrend that we've been in, I think uh, we have enough room to scalp out here um, to the bottom of this pivot at least. We should have enough room. Yep. So, okay, does give us our scalp here. So, where are we at right now? We're at one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So, we are, uh, what is it? Four wins and one loss right now. So we're at break even. Again, I don't want to go too far. Okay, this is where we left off. So we're now at break even. We're four and one. So anything here, any profit here, uh, will be profit for us. Okay, very good signal bar. Um, wow. Hmm. If I saw this, geez, geez, I would be so tempted to go long here. I'll be very tempted to go long here. Double bottom. Very tempted to go bottom to go long here. Strong bear bar. Basically coming back to the bottom here. I will need a higher low. Higher low then I'll be interested. Even though this signal bar is so good, enough room to the 20 MA. Man, that's wow, that's a really good setup. So tempting for me. Um well, let's skip it. This is gonna hurt. This really does hurt. Man, it's a really good signal bar. <sighs> bottom of the, you know, potential double bottom here. Let's let's get a uh, let's get a higher low here. It does give you your point uh, in one bar. So, shucks, we missed that. But we want the higher low setup, which is what we get here, and we are 100% wanting to enter here. And it gives you your scalp again, and um, you know, gives you your scalp. But now it's reversing like this. We have an opportunity to go second entry short here, and in my opinion, uh, strong downtrend. Ooh, pretty good signal bar. 
Huh. That's tough. A, B, C. A, B, C. Man, it's just too choppy. I'm skipping this train. I think maybe because I just made a point here. And uh, I'll be happy with that. And to hit the next reversal again, uh, I think it would be a tough trade to take. If we had a trading range, we do not have enough room to the bottom of this trading range. So I'm skipping this trade. And I'm ready to eat it. Ready to just see profits. And okay. Does that give you your point? It gives you a perfect scalp right now. And you would have scalped out sooner or later with this. So, yep. You would have been scalped out. But now you're really wondering, are we in a reversal here? We're at least thinking possible trading range at this point. Uh, because it seems like the downtrend has stopped and now we're going sideways so we're thinking a uh, possible trading range and the trading range will look something like this at the moment you know it will look like something like this and now we have these and we'll include these trading range so basically uh, this is our trading range at the moment and let's keep going until this trading range breaks out and well Okay, we have a two leg pullback here uh, with a lower high downtrend, lower highs along the way, but not enough room to the bottom of this trading range, so we skip this trade. And good thing we skipped it. And we actually have a higher low now, and we're interested in this trade because we have enough room to the top of this uh, trading range, and we scalp out. So. Uh, good thing we we recognize this training range um, because of these two swings and now you know possible reversal here as we saw here uh, especially with this second entry long or second entry short reversing here so uh, we're two scalps up so we are uh, what six and one right now uh, and if you want to keep it you could have maybe kept it to the top of this trading range that's where it tested and made a wick and now it's breaking out of the trading range. And we'll keep going till we see it. Nope, we skipped this because we just broke out of the trading range. Terrible signal bar. Magnet to the 240 SMA. And it goes down, comes back up. And we do see a trap here. Um, I would consider going long here, but 240 SMA. Ah. This trap. Should I go into this trap? Trading range typically goes back down to test the bottom of the range. I don't like this doji. Uh, man, I'm hesitating. Just because I'm hesitating, I'm not going to take it, but very high chance to get a scalp here with the trap. And boom, you end up getting a scalp with the trap here. Uh, but I skipped it anyways just because of the hesitation. And if this was real life trading, I'm not sure if I would have been ready for to go long there. But, um, yeah. You know what? If I had kept extending this, I would have saw that it was testing the bottom here and possibly been more interested. But, uh, this, this dojis. I don't like dojis. Dojis make it like basically 50 50%. And so I don't, I don't like dojis. Even though they make a scalp a lot of times, sooner or later they will, they will, um, you will pay for them. You will pay for them. Okay, so doji here. To like a pullback to the 240 SMA, terrible signal bar, not interested. And possible reversal, okay, only going to mark the second entries. Lower high here, uh, off the 240 SMA, oh boy, let's go. But uh, this is, this is nasty man, like look at this, like, this is a trading range right now. This is like, terrible trading range. Uh, I'll be very tempted to go here, but this trading range will make me skip it. I'll be tempted because the 240 SMA, lower high, plus plenty of room to the 20 MA, plenty of room to the bottom of this, or top of this uh, trading range. Um, and you're thinking it will most likely fail breakout. Okay, it's, it's a little scary, but you know what? Let's go. And are we eating our words here? We still not... We still have not made our point, so we could be eating our words. Still have not made our point. 
okay, we finally made our scalp. So that was a um, a risky trade, but ended up making our point anyways. You know, when it reverses like this, and you're just thinking if it breaks above any of these highs, you know, we're, we're done -zos. Um But, you know, we'll have our stop loss and we'll be okay with that. So right now we are, what, um, seven and one. Uh, I'll just count at the end because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot keep track of this count. We have a two-legged pullback here, and it's a very nice two-legged pullback in terms of shape, in terms of context. Terrible signal bar, so skip it. It hurts, even though that's a very good context, and terrible signal bar. And uh, good thing we didn't take it because of the signal bar. Also, not enough room to turn for SMA. As you can see now, we are in a trading range, and guess where we're in a trading range? Between the 240 SMA and the 20 uh, EMA. And, you know, you wonder why you're in trading range here. Well, because people are going short off the 240 and people are going long on the 20 SM EMA. And so, um, this is why we have a trading range right here sandwiched between these two things. And uh, hence, we will skip any trades that happen here and we'll keep going until we see the next second entry. Not interested, not enough room to the top of this trading range. Could make a point, but it could not make a point. And that's why it stops right here, top of the training range, and pokes up a little bit. Actually gives you your point. And we have another two-leg pullback. And uh, yeah, not interested. Even though we do have enough room, but we want a uh, we want something, right? We want a double top or lower a lower high. Skipping this trade. And good thing we skipped it because it reverses and traps out a bunch of traders right there. So uh, keep going. Now we're considering possible major trend reversal, right? 240 SMA is acting as support. We have an uptrend and we keep going. Uh, we have a possible two-legged pullback. Not interested, we're in an uptrend. Um, but we are in an interesting place because we are now at the bottom of this uh, channel here, created from this um, from this uptrend. So we are at the bottom of this, but you know what? It said I'm just gonna get rid of it just because it's a little too messy right now. Okay. And we are right here. Actually, we are hitting the top of this channel. If we had a lower high, uh, I would I would consider going short here just because we're in a pretty good uptrend. I would wait for a lower high to reverse because I'm pretty at this point I'm pretty much saying that I'm thinking we're in an uptrend. And it does reverse and traps out, but it reverses again. And so we have a potential lower high if we were to go low, but also notice that now we're, we might hit our heads um, or we might not be able to break the bottom of this trend plus 20 MA plus the 240 SMA. A lot of support right there. Keep going till we see the next second entry. We do see a second entry here and not interested. <clears throat> Just an uptrend, solid uptrend. Very hard to just go short here unless we have like a lower high, something like that. It does give you a point. It comes to the um, bottom of this train, uh, trend line, bottom of this channel, and now we see a bounce up here. That's why we see this bounce. But we keep going, and we have terrible signal bar, not interested in this trade. It, it makes a second entry short, and as we can see, it finds some support either on top of this channel, bottom of this channel, or the 20. EMA, keep going. Good thing we skipped it because now it's reversing and we have a ourselves a nice two-legged pullback second entry trap and um, but unfortunately you do have to recognize this here this trading range. You do not have enough room to the top of this trading range right now and so you cannot make this trade. Unfortunately very good signal bar but we have one, two, three overlapping bars. So it could find resistance here. We found resistance before, right here, right here, right here, right here. So even though it looks very tempting, context is not bad. It's just um, we do not have enough room in this training range. And boom, it blows up and you're just like, man, I am just way too conservative. Why am I so conservative? And you uh, keep asking yourself that question and you realize, you know, um, after hundreds of trades, um, being conservative pays off because you you pay for that you will pay for that later if you enter that every single time you will pay for that so 
now we continue our uptrend here and we keep going till we see the next second entry we see a second entry short here uh, we had this channel broke down comes back up so we adjust it updated the new information possible double top here uh, but uh, strong bull bar and um, yeah just not enough room to 20 MA skip this good signal bar but essentially this is a counter trend trade and with not with not enough things uh, for you to go short to be honest and you're missing your point and uh, yeah you miss your point you are potentially get trapped out here this I would consider this trap here actually uh, it's a trap and if you have enough room to the top of this candle which you barely have enough room you would need a retracement but with the retracement I would consider this trap thinking we're gonna test the top of this on the strong uptrend here so if you can get yourself a retracement with one tick uh, then you will have enough room to scalp out and so uh, you miss your scalp even though you put one tick below you enter here and you missed it actually you just touched it you might not get filled um, we have a two-legged pullback here not interested in this as all, at all because it's still counter trend and uh, you're sweating if you're long here on this trap but uh, you're okay because you have a four-point stop loss your four-point stop loss is right here if you got in with a retracement which you definitely could have at this point you're one two three four and so we're in a strong uptrend and so your stop is way down here and you're just trying to get to the top of this trading range most likely you'll hit here before hitting down here and so we'll skip this one because we're technically like in this trade right now but terrible signal bar as well but does make a okay pops up here um, either you can come out break even at this point because uh, you're like I've seen enough enough drama enough torture but you're still in this trade at four with a four point uh, stop loss and uh, the four point stop loss is very good especially when it's choppy like this because it's very forgiving and so um, let's just say we keep it and we hit the top here again and finally wow it comes down and you're just like man if i saw this bar i would be so scared um thinking that it, it's, it's hunting my stop loss the trading range protected us the double bottom protected us finally comes right back up and we do have a second entry long here um not enough room to top here but beautiful signal bar and uh actually probably not that bad of a trade but we'll skip this and boom comes up so we do make a point there with this trap here and this is why i have a four point stop loss um because especially with the trading range like this uh, more likely you know you have all these supports down here so that's why I have the four point stop loss guys I mean um, if you want more details of why I have four point stop loss with a one point uh, profit target um, there's a lot of reasons for it but the main reason is essentially math math does not lie math cannot lie so I will update my channel here and we're just still on an uptrend we're, we're not thinking going short at all Okay, whoops, I don't know why, but I skipped this because I just said I'm not going short, so I'm assuming we're going to skip this and unless we have a lower high. With good context. Thinking, testing the bottom of this training range. That's what you're thinking here with a false breakout. Retest the bottom here and probably come back up. Let's see if we get it. Let's see if a little further out. Keep going. Um, Lower high here, under the 20 MA, breaking the trend line here, top of the trading range. Thank you, we're gonna hit the bottom of here. Terrible signal bar. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to skip this. Main reason being, is because if I want to enter a second entry short here, I want I want the second entry short to look like this. Right, I, I want the I want the two legged pullback to happen underneath here, and then it. Does a two-legged pullback to the 20 EMA? I don't necessarily want to enter the 20 EM uh, second entry short off the lower high from this pivot to this pivot. You know, this is a second entry short as well. It's an ugly-looking second entry short, but it is a second entry short uh, nevertheless. But uh, I'm not interested, even though it might give you a point testing the bottom of this trading range. 
I'll skip it. And that's why you skip it, because now we have another second entry, maybe to go long here. And I would consider going long here. Yep, definitely going long here. Eh, doji. Dojis! Why? Why is it always a doji? Uh, second entry, long, and a trap as well. That gives me a lot of credence to want to go long here. Hmm. I want to go long here, but this doji is stopping me. And we do have a higher low now. Ah, uh, it's a shame skipping this. And it gives you a perfect scalp right now. And as I'll give you a point, I. Uh, that uh, dojis man darn dojis all right we'll keep going unfortunately don't always get what you want we have a breakdown in a, its own two legged pullback up here but this signal bar is not strong enough for me again another doji and i would want a more convincing uh, double top here i would want a retest of this high and possible lower high after the retest of this so we skip that and it does reverse and start to trap you out. And it actually hits hits here. Now I want a lower high. So right now, we'll keep going until, okay. Pretty good signal bar, but look at this nastiness. We are in a terrible, terrible, small pullback bull trend. And uh, as Albrook says, you never short in a small pullback bull trend. So we will take him at his word and I was actually looking at the market at this time and uh, I wanted to jump in. I wanted to jump in, but I, I was just waiting for it to like a pullback. And uh, at real life time, I saw this, um, the close, yesterday's close up here. And in my mind, I was just thinking, we're going to hit this. Like, ooh, this is a magnet right now. And we've just been grinding upwards. And now we're in a small pullback bull trend. I'm, I'm just not going to go long. Just, I will never go long until I see a strong, convincing breakout strong or breakdown, convincing, double top, some sort of reversal pattern. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm just not going to go short until I'm convinced that this trend has broken. So I'm going to probably skip every trade here. And that's, and that's what I actually did in real life. Uh, I was looking at the power hour, end up becoming a sour hour. Because it just looked nasty, just grinding up. And I wanted a two-legged pullback. I wanted to get in long, but no two-legged pullbacks, all first entries here. No second entries. Um, this one, you're kind of like thinking, man, maybe I should go short here. Awesome signal bar. Uh, and the trigger will be underneath the uh, the channel here, this tight trading channel. But I'm still thinking, uh, we're trying to hit this, so I'm I'm not, not going short. It could work out, but uh, I'm okay missing that trade. And we see this. And it ends up working out. But once you see this, you're just kind of like, man, you're sweating. And um, yeah. I'm glad I still didn't take it. So we are hitting the 20 S, uh, EMA, and I'm looking for a second entry long. No, no second entry long still. Sorry. Again, skip this because we're thinking we're hitting the, we're gonna hit this magnet here yesterday's close. And uh, good thing we skipped it because it ends up popping up. And again, skipped it, skipping this as well um, because it's short. And we're just one tick away from yesterday's close. We want to hit that before we do anything. Ends up giving you a point anyways, but we are waiting for a nice... Okay, it finally hits yesterday's close, and it closes right on it. These candles close and open right on it. Closes right on it again. Opens right on it, and doesn't close above it. We have a second entry short here, but I'm not convinced we have you know done anything yet in terms of reversing this strong bull, uh, bull trend. And comes back down gives you a perfect scalp and not enough room back up to here so we're skipping this that is a second entry long finally but uh as the market would do oftentimes just give you the worst deal possible and this is the worst deal possible you don't have enough room to the top of this um resistance and good setup tricking everyone making everyone confused is this going to hit 
and so you say, uh, I don't know, so you skip it. Ends up giving you a point, more than a point here, and I mean, at the end of the day, last five minutes of the day, and that's it. So, um, yeah, that's the end of the trading day. And uh, this video, let's see if I beat yesterday's video. Uh, no way. You know, this is hour long this time, but not as long as a movie yesterday. But um, yeah, so let's go. This is yesterday's, this is the grind up. And, you know, one thing you got to know is on a small pullback, bull trend, never go short. Never go short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight winners, one loser. So that's a thousand dollars today, even with a loser. And so, um, again, incredible patience. You gotta practice patience. That's the number one thing. That's something you cannot uh, really uh, be taught. You have to learn, and it's probably the most valuable lesson you need to learn. But uh, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you guys kind of understand why I wait for the higher lows and higher bottoms or higher uh, lower highs, especially when it comes to trading ranges. And um, I look for specifically the lower or the lower high or the higher low second entry. It's a specific second entry that I'm looking for. Essentially, it's the, this variation, and for those, you know, this is the typical variation of the two-legged pullback. The higher low looks like this, this pivot being higher than this pivot. And the lower high looks like this. So, be very familiar with this two-legged pullback, uh, as well as uh, this two-legged pullback. Uh, those things you should be able to be able to see second by second hand or second nature by now. So. And also, if you have the script, if you have the indicator, it helps a lot because you just have to look at the dark red or dark green numbers that are higher than two or higher than one. So you have this two here, lower high. That's why we entered this trade. Um, you know, dark green two. That's why we entered this trade, which is a uh, higher low, uh, higher low here with a three, dark green three. And that's why we enter those at the bottom of the trading range, top of the trading range. Hopefully that's been helpful. And if you stuck around to the end, again, kudos to you. Hope. Uh, you have learned a lot and uh, even with a loser today you can be up a thousand um, so uh, and also even the loser that I took I just took it uh, just because it was an okay setup but really I don't know if I would really done that in real life the real reason I did take that loser is because uh, you know I saw the next couple trades and um, I wanted to uh, see if we can recover you know as if we didn't see it you know I actually saw this um, trap when I was reviewing it and so I wanted to just go into it and see if we can recover. So, but even this loser, I you know potentially would not have gone to it just because you know strong bull trend here and thinking you retest at least the top of this. So, um, yeah, that was a suspect trade, but I took it anyways just for you guys uh, to see if we can really uh, recover. So, hopefully that's been helpful. And as always, happy trading and God bless.